I'm Angela Jackson, your worship leader, and I'm glad you're joining us today. Yeah. Matthew 18 and 20 celebrates the second Sunday of Advent. Yeah. Their forgiveness opens the door for Christ to come Thank in the you. midst of our difficult situations. Yeah. If this is your first time tuning in, Thank you for joining us, the church whose mission is to love God, love others, and to serve our community. Whether in person or virtually on your phone, tablet, or smart TV, Isaiah 49 provides our call to worship on today. Zion, you are bringing good news to your people. Go up on a high mountain and announce it. Say to the town, yeah. your God is coming. Glory. Posture yourselves for our morning prayer as Reverend Lawana Simpson comes.
see how far it falls. You see what I'm saying?
spirit. That through our sickness, you are our everything. Through our trouble, you are our everything. Through our hardship, you are our everything. Even when we don't know what's going on. Things going well 
is to have Jesus come in the midst. That's all we need. You don't need a whole lot of money. You don't need a whole lot of power. You don't need a whole lot of influence. Hate to bust your bubble. We don't even need people that have been in the church all their life. All we need are two or three gathered together in his name. And the promise is He'll be in the midst. When we want things to go well in the judicial system of unjust sentencing for the minority, while freedom is given to the privileged, all we need is two or three to gather together in his name. When a white professional athlete gives a slap on the wrist for lying about being vaccinated. When a black pro athlete does the same thing and gets a three game suspension, two or three need to gather together in his name. I'm trying to talk about everyday life. I ain't just talking about what's in the text. When the minimum wage continues in Virginia to be $9.50. While minimum wage earners still can't afford rent anywhere in America on $9.50. It's time for two or three to gather in his name and pray. And when blacks and whites, Hispanics and Asians fail to accept their cultural and ethnic differences to be a better community, it's time for two or three yeah. to gather together in his name. Amen. Because Jesus describes in Matthew chapter 18 that when the churches and their communities can't plan and implement programs to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give mental treatment to those suffering with mental wellness, can't vaccinate for safety and health for all, nor legislate for the good of every citizen, it's time for two or three to gather together in his name. Jesus promises to come in the midst of the meetings of any group of believers. Believers need to gather together when hatred is running rampant in the land. Believers need to gather together when racial bias and systemic injustice becomes an accepted practice in our communities. And believers need to gather together when God's spirit stops performing miracles, healing our sick, and delivering us from evil, some people, at least two or three, need to gather together in his name. The message of the second Sunday of Advent is to prepare for change by seeking forgiveness, for failing to forgive clutters in our lives, to receive the gift of Jesus coming in our midst. Do you know why we can't get over this pandemic? Because we're too busy not forgiving people who gave us misinformation. All we got to do is get together in his name. The reason that social injustice continues is that we're marketing and focusing on the people doing the wrong. Instead of forgiving them and focusing on two or three praying that God will change their hearts. And that's why there's no miracles. There's no healing. There's no deliverance in our land. And some of you are looking at me saying, a preacher saying that? The Bible tells me that because Jesus' own people could not believe in him, walk with him, and be together with him, the scriptures say he could perform no miracles in Nazareth. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, how important it is for us to be on the same page. We got to pray together. We got to sing together. We got to worship together. We got to serve together. We got to politic together. We got to protest together. We got to serve together. We got to meet needs together. Whatever we do, we got to do it together in His name. Jesus will come in the midst of the meetings of believers who can forgive bad legislation, prejudice public leaders and officials, 
and even cowardice hate groups as long as two or three come together in his name. Jesus will come in the midst of the meetings of believers who can forgive the malice, forgive the hatred, and forgive the unjust actions against them in order for justice to roll down like waters and righteousness like an overflowing stream. So Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 pins the way believers are to meet together. See, you just can't meet on the street when you want to. You can't call on the phone and talk about a bad meeting or what the church did last week. The text gives us particular identification yeah, yeah. on how two or three ought to gather together yeah. in my name. It says, whatever place believers gather, yeah. whether it's the church, it's city hall, yeah. it's protests on the streets, in school board meetings, in courtrooms that are filled with our brothers and sisters, and yes, even in the crack house as well as the White House, yeah. believers got to gather together. Yeah. We've got to gather together in his name. Make no mistake about it. We're not talking about Carson's name. We're not talking about friendship's name. We're not talking about your specific civic group or group organization. We're talking about the name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, the Bible says every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. That Jesus is the Lord of the earth. Yeah. When you call on his name, yeah. demons pay attention. Yeah. When you call yeah. on Jesus' name, yeah. sickness has to pay attention. Yeah. When you call yeah. on Jesus' name, yeah. somebody has to say, stop what you're doing. The master of life and death is talking. That name where demons must surrender to the arrest. That wonderful name called Jesus. Where death will have to ask permission before it can show up to claim a body. In the name of Jesus. Where the earth and heaven will speak and were spoken into existence. And the name that beautiful name, the name of Jesus, the name that gives authority to the powers of change and rescue, the name of Jesus that gives power to deliverance and providence, and the name of Jesus, it'll take away and calm our fears. We're two or three are gathered together in my name. Forgiveness will blanket every situation. Love will cover the multitude of wrongs committed and things occurring in our lives that are destined for our destruction will occur for our faith to grow and our reward to be secured. Is there anybody here willing to stand on the name of Jesus? Jesus will come in the midst of believers who meet together for worship. When they come into the fellowship, they don't care if they have to wear masks. They don't care if they have to get their temperature checked. They're not offended because somebody got to write their name on a list. I didn't come for a temperature check. I didn't come to put on a mask. Nor did I come to wonder where my name is going. I came to lift up the name. The one who woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. The one that let me know my left hand from my right hand. I'm talking about Jesus. He's the one that will come in the midst of the believers who gather together to sing God's words. We will bless the Lord because my God is my everything. And if you didn't hear it, let me take a step and dance like the ordained steppers. We see miracles every day. You've got to gather together and pray. Pray for earth to have king kinship with 
but I'm glad that whatever trouble I'm going through, Christmas is a reminder he's in the midst. I ain't got to wait for a manger. I ain't got to wait for a star. All I know is if I'm in trouble, he's already there. When two or three gathering out there, he promises to be in the midst. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us one more time that Christmas is all about you already being in the midst. And the key is for two or three to gather together in your name. And the great I am will be right there. Now, Lord God, for that person, whether they are experiencing us through this live stream, Zoom, parking lot, or even in this sanctuary, we present to you this beautiful gospel that says Jesus is in the midst of you right now. Because there's a church called Friendship that's been gathered together in his name. And guess what we did? We prayed for you. So this is your home. Somebody's already claimed the victory. Somebody said, we want you to come. Somebody on the other side said, in Jesus' name. Somebody in the balcony already said, amen. So we put that whole prayer together. This is your opportunity. How do you do it through live stream? Contact us on the screen. Our praise cast ministry has delivered the information. We'll be glad to talk to you about how Jesus will be in the midst of your life from here on out. Thank you. Contact us. And if our church is not the church for you, trust us. We'll guide you to a Bible-based church of your choosing. But today it's important that you get Jesus. Thank you for joining us. And at this moment, we're going to allow our worship leader to come give our closing remarks to this virtual worship experience. Thank you.